Alright, hello and welcome back to Professor Layton the Diabolical Box. Last time we uh, beat one of the bonus houses and we did a little bit of, um, I think we left the hotel, I think that's how far we got. Luke and Professor Layton open the illusion box and come away unharmed. Having now opened the box, the pair return to town to confirm a newly formed suspicion. With Sammy's help, Luke and Professor Layton gain access to the Herzen Museum. Inside the museum, the pair continues their search for facts relating to the Elysian box. That's right, that's, uh, Sammy got, so that's how we ended off last time. Oh, and uh, I've missed a whole bunch of these. A gathering at the hotel. Having finally seen the photograph in its entirety, Luke and I were just about to return to our investigation, and Constable Barton found us. Apparently, the person behind Dr. Schrader's death has been found, and our presence is required at the hotel. I'm anxious to return to my investigation, but I suppose it's not wise to defy the authorities in a situation like this. Improbable revelation. It's come a great shock to me that Don Paolo has been posing as Flora for some time. Not being able to sniff out an imposter of someone as so close to me is quite an embarrassment. It seems that poor Flora, the real Flora, mind you, has been left in a barn somewhere in Dropstone. I must solve this case quickly and turn to Dropstone to pick her up. Covering the Elysian box. In his panic to escape Inspector Chalmy, Don Paolo left behind the Elysian box. I must, conf I must confess I never imagined I'd come by the box as I did, but one must never look a gift horse in the mouse. Now all I need to do is solve the mystery tied to the box. Surely that won't take too long. Rumors of a great fortune. From what I understand, Mr. Blue came to town in search of the Elysian box, believing it would lead him to the vast herds and fortune. Katya T seems to have come to town in search of the box. I'm so baffled as to why so many people are after this little box. I fear that in order to answer this question, I'll simply have to open the box for myself and see. It's because it's um, the key to Dirk, Duke Curzon's fortune, that's what people said, although we haven't gotten that far yet. As to like how that's gonna, how those two things are connected. I've worked up the courage to look and I open the box, but nothing happened. This confirms a suspicion I've had for some time now. I feel that this little test has brought me one step closer to understanding everything. However, in order to comprehend the entire matter, I'll need to gather a bit more information. Finally, the Herzen Museum. Thanks to a little help from Sammy, we're finally able to enter the Herzen Museum. I'm almost certain that the Illusion Box is connected to the Herzen family. But in order to solidify my theory, I'll need to see what else I can find out from visiting the Herzen Museum's collection. And on that note, let us go to the museum. Oh, over here! Oh, okay, cool, thanks. You got anything new for us, child? I can never remember your name. Can you believe that girl left false just because some boy dumped her? What a wimp! <laughs> okay, thanks for your insight. I, I, I appreciate the vibes, though. What do you gotta say? It's the same as always? Yep. Cool. How about you, Shot? You had an exclamation mark. That means you got a puzzle, right? Niles? No one in this town ever wants to do anything with me, so I'm always all by myself. It stinks. What do you say, mister? I know a pretty good game called Solve the Puzzle. Wanna play? I, I guess I do. 73 can conundrum, 30 pick rats. A number of identical cans are hanging from a tree. While all the cans may look empty, the barn is actually filled with water. See if you can find it. When deducing your answer, ignore the weight of each string and stick. That's, um... A very odd puzzle. I guess it's like, what? So I think like, you look at the fulcrums here, right? We've got four cans on either side, but this is way closer, so it has to be way heavier. Likewise, this one we have three cans on this side and only one on this side. So I'm guessing it's A? Because, like, it's got to be counterbalancing those three cans and then four more on the other side. And now to test is the implication, I, I guess? Huh. Let's see what they tell us. Wonderful. 
Next again, the answer is A. The biggest stick connects to the branch at the point left of center of the stick. Four cans hang on each side of this big stick. However, because the string connecting the, the stick to this tree is left to center, the set of four cans on the left must be heavier than the four cans on the right. A, B, C, and D all hang from the left side of the big stick. However, judging by their distance from the string attaching them to the large stick, A must be the heaviest. So it is about the fulcrum points. Alright. That makes sense, I guess. Ah, oh, I knew that puzzle was going to be too easy for you, but I'm just a kid, so what do you expect? I don't know any harder ones, but some of the grown-ups in town, right? Well, you should have thought about that before you decided to be a child. I don't know what to tell you. Now you're still thirsty, so we'll just ignore you. Hey, Duke. That's kind of a confusing name we got there. I've never seen anyone go to so much trouble to get their mitts on a piece of garbage. Well, I don't care what you think. Also, my voice is getting a little weird. But that's fine. You got chess for us, E.T. The name's Vicorio and I love chess like mice love fancy cheese. If you can solve this little chess puzzle I've set up, I'll solve you. I'll tell you what I know about full sense. It sounds fair. Show me what you've got. 107, Knight's Tour 2, 50 Pick Rats. Alright, we learned our lesson from last time. Draw out a diagram here. We'll lead a knight on a trip around the board below. Knights move two squares forward and one square perpendicular on each turn. The initial direction can be up, down, left, or right. Move this knight around the entire board, landing on each square only once. So, like, because we're starting the corner, we have to go to one of these two squares, which means we have to end on the other one, right? That's not true. Also, is there any more... I don't think there's any more, like, forcing we can do, so I... I'm just gonna hop around, I guess, and hope I make it, like... Hmm. That seems like a bad idea, but I don't know... Alright, that took way too long. To test my theory. Because I wanted to do it legit. I guess I just kinda had to get huh. Wonderful. lucky, I guess you could call it at the start, and then plan around that. Well done, thanks. Thanks for the comment there. Sharp thinking, sunny boy, real sharp. How was I gonna say? Oh yes, the Herzens. Way back when Herzen Castle used to be quite the hot spot. The rich folks would throw balls there. Now no one will go near the place. The castle supposedly got a vampire living in it. But I wouldn't give for things to go back to the way they were. We already knew all that. You told us nothing, old man. That was useless. And you're useless. See ya. Museum first floor. Oh, it's Stanley Kubrick. How are you doing, my man? I'm Grinko. Welcome, friends. I don't know what Stanley Kubrick sounds like. I'm Grinko, and I'm the curator of the Herzen Museum. We had an extensive collection of artifacts pertaining to the history of this town and the Herzen family. 
Sammy told me all about you too. I hope you find our resources helpful to your search. Please feel free to peruse the collection to your heart's content. Professor and Luke decide to explore the Hearst Museum. I was kind of hoping for a bit more, but honestly, like after how long the ninth tour puzzle took, we're coming up on a session length, so for something a bit more, I'll read this last diary entry, and then I guess we'll call it here, which I... It's probably gonna be a real short episode after editing, but maybe it's a nice change of pace, you know? All around town, people are falling ill to a disease that has no name. It's the sand pest. Some of the common folk have been saying that our town has fallen under a curse. As the only sound remaining to watch over full sets, I can't even think of leaving. The thought would be more disturbing were not for her. As long as she's by my... <coughs> Sorry, my voice... <clears throat> my voice is acting up. I'll... There might be a weird edit there. As long as she's by my side, I have the strength to stay and protect this town. Well, I'm sure that's going to turn out good. I'm trying to think of more pathologic jokes to make, but, um... I come to mind, but... Anyways, um... Yeah. And this has been... This episode of Impressive Layton. Next time we'll look around the museum and more plot stuff will happen, I'm sure. So this one was kind of short, but I mean... Like, trying to do a night's tour legitimately, it's gonna take a while. I don't know what you want me to do about that, but... It's fine. And in any case, uh, we'll call things here. And as always, thank you for watching.